Greetings everyone, and Great here for another Age of Ours 4 replay. Spawn on bottom right side is a blue French, we have the kid. Spawn on top left side is a red Abbasid dynasty, we have SAS. Looks like the French player is immediately eyeing for the deer. And there's actually a good number of deer very close up, so he's able to He minimized the movement distance there. Local doggo, however, gained some bites on in. You got now survival techniques being researched in this age. He is really going to eye for clicking this food very quickly. Six villagers there. It's probably a good idea to send all additional, excuse me, all additional villagers to this gold deposit, or maybe send some bought from sheeple. Best not to take time to reverse them all the way over here. The diminishing point returns at that point in time. Also, wisdom is now completed. And French versus Abbasid. We may see uh, heavy resources on the camel riders versus if the French player goes heavy into the royal knights. See. And the sheep does go ahead and get rallied to the mining camp. Military wing now being researched. This will give him a nice little small force here. Good to protect himself versus the eventually initial royal knights. He is going to the school of cavalry. Oh, here yeah, the deer have not been touched, nor have these. And the other deer deposit for the French player is over here. That's probably a good spot for town center either way, because there's nearby gold and stone deposit as well. Speaking of which, there's another good gold, gold and stone deposit here as well. Over here, got two gold deposits pretty close by. This may be a good spot for our town center. This one. Here can also help protect this gold deposit. If it goes another town center there. But neither player is going for any stone at the moment. So maybe both players are not eyeing for additional town center. Spearmen and Vil and archers push away forward. He does go and back off these villagers that are cooking up this uh deer he knows about he's worried about may as well the military wing being flooded out or he may be concerned about the military wing oh it's not uncommon for people to go for military wings first just to get the small little force out which is great for field control Sheep are now being bopped there. Couple of royal knights not being floyd on out. Two royal knights make their way forward. We'll find a couple of local doggos. Where are those spearmen currently located at? Spearmen archers are currently located inside the wood line. No, 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 he does no. have wheel barrel research. The French player is not going for wheel barrel as well. We're all knights moving around, trying to find another opportunity, splitting up. You could get up. Oh, we got a pair of spearmen over here as well. Which will keep them safe away from the Royal Knight. And put them one at, down at each line. Very good. Scout will spot the Spearman. He actually does not get a Spear Brace there. Goes in for a regular attack. And will take a couple hits there. Additional Spearman hitting the Scout. He's forced to start falling back. This Royal Knight not doing all too much at the moment. We'll find a couple of uh, Lone Berry collectors there, but does run away. Could have potentially snipe one of them. French player only needs to get two quick strikes to kill off the villager. Before textiles, at least. Royal Knights getting interrupted by the berries. Let's get a good hit there. And the follow up attack will kill off that villager. These villagers are a little bit idle at the moment. He has a second town center getting interrupted by this archer. Spearmen, however. Poking him, and all these villagers being corralled away from the additional town center. He's trying to stand and fight with the villagers there. That's not great. 
The uh, Royal Knights did some actually good work there. They may only got one villager, but that was a lot of dancing around. Villager still item inside town center. Now it has to reorganize his entire economy since his entire economy was just pulled off right there. More Royal Knights being pulled in the field and more as well the archers. Archers find a couple hits there on these spearmen. Second town center being pulled out here. That's not near any food deposits, so that's an interesting spot. He really wants to make sure this wood gets collected on up. These villagers are currently idle. Yeah, that's a really strange spot for a town center. A couple archers pushing forward. Spearmen trying to counterattack now. Royal Knights taking quite a bit of damage he, with two severely wounded Royal Knights like this. Maybe they need to go for chivalry sooner rather than later. Just pull back both those wounded Royal Knights. The chance of them being useful this morning time when you, your opponent has gone for so many spearmen is unlikely. And the sheep gets bopped there. The French player starting to go for his basic economic attacks. He knows the second town center now. He has not the out of second town center himself. He has no stone at the collect at the moment. And now he's trying to collect up the deer once again. He does have a slight villager lead because the French of course can deploy villagers slightly faster. We now got a line of palisade walls there, just help protect the flanks. More palisade walls there. Wolf does go down there. That wolf goes down as well. Royal Knights trying to push their way forward. They find an opportunity. Got a couple of spear. Oh, not just spear and an archer. Archers now moving around over here. Could find a couple shots. Royal Knights trying to break through this palisade wall. The archers here do find an opening. He's going to try to go through the opening now. There's a good number of spearmen to ward away the knights, but not necessarily to ward away the archers are here in good numbers. He still only has two archers over here. He's getting it, has a third and fourth in the field and three more on the way. So he's now gone through the opening. Has queued up all his archers and hit everything. Or this archer there. And does back off now. More archers being rallied across the field. He's trying to go for a good amount of stone here. Eyeing for additional town center himself. Got a outpost here. Keeping just five belts of gold for the time being will be all he really needs for upgrades. Spear passing forward. Scout does take a couple charge attacks there. Scout does not go down. Red's archers are outnumbered against Blue's archers. Neither side has any blacksmith technology at the moment, and Blue has all of his basic economic techs. Outpost does get cancelled there. A couple archers here will be picked on off. A couple spearmen getting hit as well. And Blue just back on off, picks off, uh, gets some more damage on that Spearman. You're being knocked around. We've got 21 military units there, we've got 18 here. These villagers, most of the scout does go down, so do both those villagers. A couple more of the French villagers do go down. He has re has both second town center next to this uh, gear deposit, has an idle villager there as well. 
Coral Knight's making a trying to hide for a counter attack. You're do getting knocked around a little bit as this French army is trying to push his way over here. Maybe I make another breach. He is cutting up these berries over here. Good stone deposit here as well. This wall will be torched down. If you look at the mini map, most of the gold is on the top side of the map with this large one down here. But most of the gold is just simply over here. So both players need to eye and expand up north. Red does, of course, have an alternative deposit down south. And this deposit here has not really been touched in a long time. We do not have the Royal Institute now going on up, which will potentially get him access to early bloodlines. Raw Knights now trying to torch down this palisaded wall. And a couple of these villagers are going down to these archers. Raw Knights are going to break through this palisade wall there. He's going for the veteran Royal Knight research. Doesn't have enough research for the Royal Bloodlines at the moment. Or I could go for a veteran archer research as well. Right now, the absent player does have force 26 on the field, but the uh, volume value is only slightly higher. Who does escape out, out of there? If you notice there, his uh, horse formation charged forward, and then he rallied his uh, archers, got his archers back in formation, allowing them to move faster a little bit. Royal Knights now charging away forward, got a massive spear race there, getting five of them locked down. Got one round of stabs and falls back. Killing off five of them there would have done a uh, thousand uh a uh, thousand resources worth of damage so it may have been a good idea to do some spearmen of that he does have chivalry so these royal knights will start healing themselves up one is severely wounded two are moderately wounded you may want to just take that severely wounded one and just send it back home Outposts have been garrisoned on up. He doesn't really have a whole lot of damage to increase. There's only one level of damage, which so they do some damage each. Royal Knights actually don't have all the pierce armor, so they take two damage per arrow rather than just one. Gold deposit now rapidly being seized. It is, of course, a bit vulnerable right there. He can always collect up this one later. The luck's not being picked up by blue. Oh, nice taking some hits there. The French archers are, of course, veteran archers, as opposed to some un veteran archers. But this is simply way outnumbered. As the player does have enough resources now to age up, good spear braces there, taking out a good number of these royal knights. Plus, he does have phalanx. Here, Spearman taking out that archer as well. And these forces are starting to fall back. Got the cultural ring now being researched. That's the interesting. Give him access to. That's not important. Maybe he really wants preservation and knowledge to get his castle each technologies for cheaper. He does have tier two, so old age tier two, giving him increased research speed as well. Royal Knights charging my forward. Spear brace there on one of these Royal Knights. Let's take that out. Spear and advance on forward. Archer's getting some good damage here. 
Archer does go down there. And the rest of this uh, boar is being claimed up now. Actually, no, that's still plenty of boar there. Boomba has a lot of food in him. Archers may receive a charge attack there. Culture Wing still being researched, so he still doesn't have the veteran research available. Spearman taking some damage there from the veteran archers. Culture Wing's almost complete. Doesn't set an outpost there. There's some spear brace there. Picks off some of these uh, Rome knights. Now he does have the venom research there. The French player is designed to be aggressive near it now since he has a small timing window before his opponent's research gets online. A timing window of another basically 60 seconds in total. Blue's not trying to pull out four keeps, trying to wrap up this game. And since his opponent just simply didn't have the research available, his units are disintegrating, just getting out quality. quality. Do not got the preservation knowledge, doesn't have to follow the bowmen at the moment. What needs out right now is some mana arms. Or key lobs, I should say. A couple villagers do go down there. Boots so far kill four team villagers. Got some camel riders. Outposts just firing away, gain some good supporting damage. Going for some spring golden placements now. Need some more pierce damage research to increase the damage output of these towers, as well as town center. So right now they're doing one damage per arrow. They just uh Damage, range damage research will give them two damage uh, per arrow, 100% increase. There's a spring bone placement there to help them chip down these Royal Knights, but right now the Royal Knights do have Royal Bloodlines, giving them over 300% uh, health. French players are going to force down some other infrastructure. Bodders in line with this, it's going to get forced down. Seats Workshop being put on the front line. And some of these villagers are going to go down as well. Camera has been pushed on out, which does give both San Francisco cavalry, but right now has no armor. So it's quicker to go down to these archers. Right now, Red has 64 villagers, one sets 91. They both have two town centers, and of course, the. Arch villagers need to build faster. Got an Royal Knight taking some more hits here. Let's pick the capture up a sacred site now and throw the relics in the way for him. Lancer trying to engage the royal knight. Which gotta keep here. This French player now has a full trebuchet to pull it on out. Now eyeing for some barracks as well. French barracks are relatively rare. He may be eyeing for some mana arms. Mana arms at this moment in time wouldn't be half bad. Let's get a charge attack there. Got a good number of archers here, no composite bowmen research. No on the way. Right now, the Epsi player has no gold, literally, in his uh, stores. So, he has. Yeah, if he can't get his gold rectified, it's probably going to be game over. He is getting some more deer right there. Got the villagers trying to. Uh, after cut the four, it's time for some farms up there. First, I'll just say retreat them back from right there. And looks like the absolute uh, force has been cleaned up. This game just appears to be over. There's some going down. Spearman does take out some of these villagers there. 
small victory for the absent player, and the absent player does back out now. This is Adam Great saying, thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.